Rising up, I sold my soul a good price Out of sight, you might hold got talent, right? Whole squad ran, do that shit, yeah Assalamu alaikum guys, the topic that we are going to work with today is something <clears throat> very interesting. Actually, it is about basics of bot mass or bid mass. Before we start this topic, there are two things that you must understand. That in bid in bot mass, we have certain order of things to do. In bid mass, we have same certain order to do the things but the difference is of only O and I. O is for order while I is for indices. What these things stands for I'll explain them here. Right now when we say uh, B stands for brackets or parentheses and O stands for order D stands for division, M stands for multiplication, then A stands for addition and S stands for subtraction. Now there are a few things that you must understand that whenever we are working with bot mass we have certain rules to follow. This means that if I have for example a question here that is 2 plus 4 times 3 if I'm not following this board mess rule I will do 2 plus 4 first which will give me 6 and I will do times 3 and this will give me 18 but unfortunately this is my wrong answer the reason is that as per the board mess I have to do multiplication first because in my board mass or bid mass where only difference is I, let me write it down here. I is for indices and indices means power. Power means exponent. Yani, for example, 2 raised to the power 2. This thing is called power exponent indices. Alright, in this case, the first thing I must do is I have to multiply these two first. So 4 times 3 makes what? 12. Then I will bring this sign plus down and I'll bring this 2 down. Now what happens is most of the time students believe that they can do the whole question in one step and they get confused. Or they do this calculation like for example the question is again 2 plus 4 times 3. So if they are writing this question next step they will write 4 times 3 12. Then they will say 2 plus 12. This step is not supposed to be done like this. The mathematical manner of this is 2 plus 4 times 3 means that first they need to underline the order and yani multiplication first so they will put multiply they will multiply these two numbers 4 times 3 makes what 12 why multiplication first because as per the board mass I know that I have brackets in this question no I have order here no I have division here no I have multiplication here yes so I will do multiplication first, then addition and then subtraction. So first of all, I'm multiplying these two numbers. 4 times 3 makes 12. I'll bring now I'm gonna bring this plus down and I will bring this 2 down. Now 12 plus 2 makes what? 12 plus 2 makes 14, and 14 will be my final answer. Now in this case, it's very simply explained that how you have to follow the board mass order. Now, let me show you another example. If I have let's say 2 times 3 minus 6 plus 4 divided by 2 now in this one the first thing I must do as per the bid mass or board mass is I have to look for division why because as per my order the first thing I have to look for is brackets do I have brackets in here or parentheses here no order order is if I have something or bid mass this if I have power on any number let's say if I have power on this number in this case I have to solve this first because in my order if I do not have order I have indices which is mentioned here so in case of indices I have to solve my power first so 3 times 3 makes 9 because our uh, power on number shows a number multiplied to itself same times if power is 3 this means 3 times 3 times 3 if power is 4 this means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 so whatever the power or exponent or indices we have, we have to multiply the number same number of times to itself. 
Now in this question, when I got exponent, I will solve my exponent first. So 3 times 3 makes 9. So I will say 2 times 9. Look, I'm not making any other changes because at this stage, if you will try to solve more than one step believing that you are Einstein, you can end up into a trouble. It's better that you should pay attention and stay focused. Go slow so that you will not miss the, the basic idea behind this. Now, I did the exponent thing. Now, as per the exponent, what is next? Division. So I will do division first. 4 and 2 divided each other. We got 2 as my answer here. I'll bring plus 6 minus 9 times 2. Now, here, what I'm going to I will solve now as per the board mass, which shows that bracket, uh, bid mass, as bracket indices, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So, <clears throat> now, I will look at the order again. Do I have brackets of indices here? No. Do I have indices here? No. Do I have division sign here? No. I just solved it in the last step. Do I have multiplication here? Yes, I do. So, I will draw a line under it, and I will say, okay, 2 times 9 makes 18. So I will write 18 first. I will bring the rest of the values down as it is. Now, again, next step, again bit mass. So brackets, no. Indices, no. Division, no. Multiplication, no. Addition, yes. And subtraction. When we have addition and subtraction and no other sign available, then we can go left to right. Sorry, left to Right. This means from this side to this side. Because I do not have the third sign involved, if these two are there, plus and minus, we know that they are actually mathematical opposite, mathematically opposite to each other. And only these two signs are available. So I can decide to do from left to right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do first this side. 18 minus 6 makes what? 12 plus 2 makes what? 14. So 14 is going to be my answer. What I did now, instead of doing this addition first and then doing subtraction, I did left to right. So 18 minus 6 makes 12, 12 plus 2 makes 14. So in this case, 14 will be my right answer. I'm going to do another example here. 2 times 3 plus 4. And I will put the brackets here. Now in this case, we know that we have to go for bid mass. And as per the bid mass, I have first brackets. So, I have multiplication here, but I have to solve brackets first because this is the rule. The rule says brackets, indices, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So, first thing I'm going to do is I will do what? I will just add these two numbers. 4 plus 3 makes 7 here. Then I will bring this times down and 2. Now, remember, when I got this one digit as my answer, I'm not putting the brackets anymore. I'm not keeping the parentheses anymore. Why I'm not keeping the parentheses anymore? Because parentheses used to group the values. This means more than 1. 2 plus 3 times 4 minus 6. If I have such values, I can group them by using the brackets. But right now, I don't need the brackets. The reason is that in this question here, I have brackets and I already solved them. So now I have only one value left. When one value left, I just brought this down. This is 7 times as it is and 2. So next step will be 14 as my answer. Next part if I'll say here that 2 times 4 plus 2 times 6 minus 3. I'm going to put the bracket here again. Now we know that as per the order. We know that as per the order I have to go bid mass again. So what I'm going to do I will follow the bid mass again and I will say okay as per this, the first thing I need to solve is the brackets because bracket is here. Now inside the bracket, I have more than one operator. Operators are what? Plus, minus, multiplication, division. These are called operator. And when we do any of the things, any of the activity with these, we call that operation. So this is operation and these are operators. Now, I have more than one operator plus multiplication and subtraction. I'm going to use this, these operators, but I have to follow again what? Again, I have to follow bid mass now first thing is brackets all right i'm working with brackets and inside the brackets do i have any more brackets no indices any value with the power no if i have any value with the power with the exponent then i have to solve that that exponent first but right now since i know that i do not have any value with the indices or exponent or power i will not solve it of course i'll go for division do i have division here no multiplication yes i do i have multiplication now which numbers are getting multiplied? This and this. So 6 times 2 makes 12 minus as it is. 
plus 4 as it is and brackets as it is because the values are still in a group I didn't get one value yet bring multiplication sign down and 2 here now 2 times and this is again bracket again I have to follow bit mass I have plus and minus I'll go from left to right so as I said earlier that I can go from left to right so what I'm gonna do here is 4 plus 12 makes 16 minus 3 next step I will go for next step 16 minus 3 makes what it makes uh, 13 now times 2 now you might be looking at this that how I have this bracket here I don't need this bracket anymore now because I am done with the bracket let me let me just fix this thing okay now I don't need any bracket because I have one value I'm left with one value so I will not write the value let me let me rewrite this part by 2 times 13 so 13 times 2 makes 26 will be my answer remember that board mass is a very simple thing very interesting thing but if you will not pay the right manner of attention to it you will really get confused in let's say I have another question 2 times 8 my divided by 4 minus 6 and I have brackets here with the square on this number now as per the board mass rule I have to follow the same conditions we know that as per board mass or bid mass why I'm writing board mass and bid mass again and again because you should understand that what is the difference and what we are dealing with right now right now we are working with bid mass we have indices squares powers powers on a number exponents on a number now I will solve this first but first I have to go for brackets alright I will not multiply 2 with 8 I will deal with my brackets first inside the bracket again I will implement my board mass again so inside the bracket I have to go for indices first so 6 times 6 makes what it makes 36 minus as it is 4 as it is division as it is 8 as it is brackets as it is times and 2 I am time and again reiterating that you should not try to solve the whole question in one go go slow just go step by step so you should understand that what you are dealing with board mass is very simple but if you try to play with it you will get confused so just give it a time now when I got this thing here I got I got 36 now now I will I'm got I'm, I'm done with indices I will go, go for the division now so 8 divided by 4 is what it's 2 right 2 minus 36 and times 2 now 2 times 2 minus 36 2 times 2 minus 36 2 is a smaller number can you subtract 36 from 2 all right actually on a number line yes we can because if I have a number line this is 0 I am at 2 and I have to go 36 steps back so of course I will go to the negative numbers so I will end up into what I will end up into negative 34 because two steps I have taken here and then I have to take 34 more steps to reach 36 so I will end up with th my negative 34 negative 34 times 2 will make gives me negative 68 as my answer now this is a different kind of a question the point is that you have to follow the rules if you are not following the rules you will get confused because we know that same question solved by two different methods will give the wrong answer will go two different answers when one of them is wrong so don't put yourself in such confusions look into this carefully so that you should understand how to work with board mass next topic we're gonna work with algebra but before we start algebra we have to we have to pay attention to board mass so I will again mention it here 2 minus uh, let me 12 minus 8 plus 4 times 6 so first of all in this one I will do what I will do multiplication because I know that in after multiplication I have addition and subtraction and I have addition and subtraction here so I will do first what first I will do this times 4 times 6 makes what it makes 24 so 24 here I'll bring plus down 8 down minus and 12 down again and again I'm mentioning it don't try to solve the whole thing in one step now 8 plus 20 okay now left to right so 12 minus 8 is what 12 minus 8 is 4 plus 24 this gives you what this gives you 28 as your answer this is something really important you should know the order of operations you should know how we work with it inshallah next video we will discuss how what are the 
uh, expressions, what are variables, what are constants, and uh, what are function machines, what are um, inequalities. We will work with that, inshallah. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Assalamu alaikum.